Okay, my name is Dr. Joe Ferrantelli, and I'm the inventor of Posture Screen Mobile for the iPad, iPhone, and iPod Touch. And what I would like to do is just go through some of the basic setup features using the emulator. Now, um, I have to do this so that way you can get a clear picture. So this is actually uh, um, the app running on my MacBook Pro. So the first thing after you download on iTunes, you're going to go ahead and you have to set up the application. So the screen's going to come up here, and the first thing that you need to do is set up your clinic information. Okay, I'll give you some just uh, walk through. Obviously, this app is uh, proudly supported by um, those that want to advertise on our platform, which subsidizes the cost. And that's why it's only approximately ten to twenty-five cents uh, per evaluation currently. Um, otherwise, this app would cost well over a thousand dollars to each uh, provider. So let me give you the lay the lowdown first. Um, to begin a new screening, you would obviously start here. Any screenings you've done in the past, you would click this button. Um, settings and upgrades, that's where we're going to start. And then this toolbar is for you to post uh, um, information to Facebook and Twitter or email people about, uh, spread the word about our application. Okay, so first thing is let's go into settings. Okay, and you're going to choose clinic info. And the first thing that you want to do is let's put the office name down. Okay, I'm going to put mine down right here because this is what's going to show up on the report okay your phone number be sure to send me some patients that was my joke I write my email now this is important because one of the things that we're going to do is whenever your staff is doing uh, these screenings the email address that's on file here um, will also allow you to not only get support through PostureCo, so you must fill out this information if you want to get support. Uh, more importantly, you're going to have your staff is going to be accountable either for bonus structures or for when they go out into the field and do screenings. If they say they screen 25 people, you better have 25 different people assessed uh, in your inbox because this is going to email you as you go. Our website, okay, our address, Massachusetts uh, Avenue. Now, mind you, this you only have to do this the first time here. Oh, let me back up here, and um, let me scroll down here. And and then let's go ahead and put. Once we're done here, you're going to click here. Okay. Now the other thing is settings. Uh, if you want to use the metric system or English system. Uh, what sound do you want when you click? I like the tink sound, but if you like the pop sound, you can use that. If you want the grids superimposed, that's what you want on the image. Okay. Um, talking about assessment credits, uh, you don't want to be prompted every time if you have assessment credits. Okay, but I'll leave that on for right now. If you're a posture print provider and you want to use this as a tool um, pre screening your patients and you have posture print clinically, um, I would click this on if you don't. Uh, say you're a physical therapist or that doesn't use the system or a chiropractor or a, a personal trainer, leave that unblocked. But I, I have it, obviously. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Um, upgrades. <clears throat> now, we're currently um, not going to, uh, it probably won't pull up because I'm running an emulator here. But any upgrades that are, any functionality uh, that is um, made available, which will have different modules as you go through, will be listed here and you can buy through iTunes. Plus, to replenish your credits, again, you can buy 100 credits right now at $9.99 or say um, uh, 10 at uh, $2.99. So you're going to purchase those credits. It will automatically go and get debited to iTunes. I have nothing to do with that, neither does PostureCo, and Apple will take their nice 30% of that. Okay. That is how to set up the application. The next thing is, let's go ahead and do a new evaluation. First, I'm going to screen a female, okay? First name is going to be Cheryl and Smith, and she's five foot two, and let's scroll this down, and she weighs 115 pounds. Now, what would her email be? <clears throat> I'm just going to put my email address down but we put the patient's email address. Now, mind you, it's going to also capture this information because one of the modules that we have for release will be 
the ability to export all the screenings within a certain date range or by searching a person's name um, to an Excel file for a callback. Okay, I'm the first to ever allow that, so we're all excited about that module. Of uh, the patient's phone number, obviously we want to get that. And here's the pain scale. Now, obviously, uh, we don't have to focus on pain, but this is basically, you could even use activities daily living. It's a visual analog scale. You can have them um, do it, or you can go ahead and ask them what their, their pain is today. Okay, so let's go ahead and move on next. Now, obviously, on the iPhone, you're going to have a camera, which I can't really show you, but you can go ahead and, and see the tutorials on our website at www.posturecode.com slash mobile. Uh, dot htm you'll be able to see that um, but for right now let's go ahead and just pull in some saved postures and excuse me the front view here we're going to go into I have a front view here now what you need to do is <clears throat> you need to take this picture that you uh, obtained either on the the uh, using the camera or you have the picture in there and you're going to have to basically resize this person and Let's go move it just like this. Sorry, it's hard to do with, uh, with this here. And I'm going to pause here one second here. Okay, and then I'm going to grab this. Sorry, it took me a second to realize how to do it on the, on the Mac because as you can see, those are my fingers. So what you want to do is you want to size the person. The top of their head hits the yellow line. The bottom of their feet hits uh, down here. Um, and that's going to get their approximate height. This is part of my, my patent application. Hit save. Now let's do the side view. <clears throat> With the side view, same thing. Let's drag them in place and then we're going to pinch it down and then we're going to go ahead and center and expand up. There we go. And do a little bit. I'm going to expand up a little bit. I'm doing this slow so that way you, you can see how it's done. Um, on the iPad specifically, this is very, very fast. You can do a screen in literally 30 seconds on an iPad. iPhone, it's a little bit smaller. It takes just a little bit longer. Um, now, on this screen, you follow what the little animations are. Obviously, we're going to click his right eye, left eye. So we're going to go on her right eye, left eye. Now, to give you some idea, if I wanted to pan the image, I can go ahead and click here. Um, but I made my sister-in-law stand crooked, so let's go ahead and... Go ahead and click the spots that we want. And notice right there is the magnifying glass. And again, doing this on the iPad, it's extremely fast. And if you make a, a mistake, no worries. You can go ahead and you can drag that back in place. So if your staff made a mistake, you can go ahead and change it as you see fit. All right. And then <clears throat> you're all done. Okay. Next thing you can do, and again, if you zoom out and say, oh, you know what, I want this point a little bit lower, just drag it down. That's all there is to it. Okay, so we're going to hit next. And now we're going to go ahead and do the same thing. We're going to come up and side hip, knee, and ankle. Okay, wonderful. Next, if you want to use just the free version, you would hit no. Okay, and what's going to happen is you get a one-time assessment where you can view things. Okay, but if you'd like to splurge and keep this for the future, um, I recommend you, you buy the credits and you would go ahead and hit calculate results. It would ping the server and then you'd be able to use the assessment. Okay, okay, and with this, we're probably not going to be able to ping the server right now because I'm out of the, the Wi Fi zone and so I don't have credits to be able to, to show this portion on the video. Um, you go ahead and go back to Cheryl. Okay, but you can always come back to this. And again, to unlock all the features with the calculations, you're going to have to use the credits. Okay, so it will just show you this one time uh, feature to where if you want to, you can go ahead and load this up and, and show her. But we're going to say we're done. Okay, now to go back into the screening history. We're going to go ahead and there they are. We'll be able to export by date range. If we wanted to pull up, say, did all the screenings on January 14th to, um, say, January 14th and end date, let's go ahead and say February 14th. Um, 
it would find, and you would hit search, it would find all those patients, okay? So let's go ahead and go back. Um, I will go ahead and give you an update um, on a, another example um, once I can use credits. Fortunately, right now, you can't use credits on the, the uh, emulator. Okay, so hopefully that will um, give you the basics on how to set up your iPhone screening app. Uh, please watch me in real time with the real uh, version at www.posturco.com. Again, my name is Dr. Joe Ferrantelli. Thank you for the interest in the first ever iTunes Posture Screening mobile app. Thank you.